About four years ago, I was at the worst point in my life. I was depressed. I was heartbroken. I was underweight, feeling my classes, constantly blaming others for my own problems. I didn't even have a job. I surrounded myself with some of the most toxic people that I've ever met in my life. I played video games all day and all night, trying to escape from reality. I went into this virtual world where I had no problems, no one to make fun of me of my insecurities. But when it came time to get off the game, I came back into life with the same problems, the same insecurities, all still there. I was quite often bullied and I allowed them to bully me. It got to a point where I really didn't feel like I had any reason to be here. I lacked purpose. And it got to a point where one day I realized that the only way to fix these problems, to fix these insecurities, is to go at them head on, to not run away from them, take them like a man. Because running away from problems doesn't solve anything. Those problems are still there. Those problems will still follow you around. Ever since I found my purpose, my life has changed immensely. I've got a great job. I've got a brand new car that most people can't afford in their lifetime. I'm the most happiest I've been in my entire life. I've surrounded myself with the most positive people that I know that are also trying to do better every day to become something greater. I have a reason to live. I have a reason to wake up every day and work hard. In this video, my goal is to at least help one of you guys find your purpose and for you guys to develop some sort of understanding on how to achieve it. But before we get into today's video, I want to give a bit of an introduction to myself for the people who are new here. We get daily subscribers and I'm very, very thankful for you guys. Who am I? <laughs> I'm basically just another one of you guys. Someone who was lost at first and overcame a bunch of obstacles to get onto the right path. I've been obsessed with self-development for some time now and I like to help others by sharing my own experiences and what I have done to overcome certain problems. Problems that I know many of you guys many of other people are going through as well. I believe it's important for all of us to be the best that we can be, to be able to live happy and be successful. And I'm here to share my knowledge and to help every one of you guys. Today, I will give you guys four simple rules that I used to set myself on the path to success. Number one, observe. I want you guys to observe all the people around you, your parents, your coworkers, your friends, your teachers, everyone. Understand the life they live and is that the life you want to live. It might be yes and it might be no, but it will help you determine what kind of lifestyle you want. When I was working at TJ Maxx, I was getting promoted quite quickly and I eventually came to the conclusion that I wanted to become full-time store manager and eventually make it to the corporate level. As I was working, I started to observe the managers, the supervisors around me, and all of them had this one thing in common. That was that they always looked very, very unhappy. They didn't look like they were enjoying their job or not even enjoying the job, but enjoying life as it is. They were constantly under stress, constantly working for pay that didn't really quite add up to how much work they were doing. And I realized to move up the corporate ladder, it took way too long. The guys, the people that are working as managers are in their 40s, 50s, and I'm not trying to wait that long to become successful. My goal is to be rich before I hit 30. And this is a very, very achievable goal. And to some people, it sounds so absurd, so unrealistic. But there's plenty of proof out there that is very, very possible. I quickly realized that the people that I had around me weren't the people's lives I wanted to live. So I went online and started seeing all these YouTubers, all these successful influencers at a very, very young age. And they did it through business, something that intrigued me at the time. And that's when I started to get closer to what my purpose was. I also remembered that as a kid, I had spent more time with my family. I love spending time with family. But as we all grew older, my dad started to work more. My mom is working now too. I'm working. We, we spend less and less time together as a family because we're all so busy. And that's something I don't want in my future as well. One of my main purposes is to have a future where I can spend time with my family, to not have to work constantly all five days, seven days a week. Number two, meditation. Once I had somewhat of an understanding what kind of future I wanted to live, I started to meditate on it and really imagine myself in that scenario. 
And quite honestly, it wasn't the scenario that I thought it would. I had originally thought that I wanted to, you know, be living this luxurious lifestyle of so many cars, big mansion, big house. And I'm sure that's the lifestyle that a lot of you guys think that you want too. And it might be something that you want. But I realized that in my image, in my dream, it was just me, my future family, wife, kids, my parents, all living in this house on the countryside in a peaceful location where I didn't have to worry about money, where stress was at an all-time low. I got to spend time with my family and enjoy life. And it may sound cringe, but I was literally tearing up when I was meditating. I saw the life I wanted to live and it felt so real. I was so deep in focus and it was unimaginable. And meditation doesn't have to be the simple sitting down and, you know, making owl noises through your mouth. It can be as simply just going out for a walk and thinking about yourself, thinking about your future, trying to visualize who you want to become. It could be as simple as driving to work or school, visualizing how you want to be. I guarantee you, if you just turn off the music, turn off all the noise around you, sit down and think to yourself, have alone time with your mind, you'll quickly understand and learn so much about yourself. Number three, research. Now that you know the life that you want to live, it's time to do some research and figure out what you need to do to be able to achieve that goal. Now, some people might have the motivation to constantly work and work and work and be the best that they can be. Some people are very, very competitive. They want to continue to excel in their field. That wasn't me. I'm someone right now that wants to have a business, make money, make income, and be able to live a relaxing life. I realized to be able to be financially free, I need to develop multiple sources of income. I can't just live off of one full-time job that I'm working at. I found that the best way to do this is having an online business. It's very cost effective, a lot of opportunity, and that's currently what I've been working on. I also want to be time free, meaning I don't want to be stuck to a desk. I want to be able to make something to develop a business that can generate me income even while I'm away from the desk. Such as, let's say I make a course and I sell that course and I put it online. Now people will constantly be buying that course while I'm, you know, maybe traveling or spending time with my family. I don't have to be at my desk to sell that course to each individual person. I will continuously be making income. You also have to understand in full depth, if you're willing to work for a goal, a lot of us get comfortable in the lifestyle we're living and we don't introduce ourselves to new experiences. We need to introduce ourselves to new experiences to learn and to grow. We need to get over it. A lot of us are afraid of failing, but failing is part of the path to success. When you fail, you learn a lot. I have already failed many, many times, but I have learned so much. I dropped shit for six months and I barely made any sort of income. So I took a step back and analyzed what I did wrong. And I've learned so much and I'm starting to apply this to new business ideas. And hopefully I can expand it to something much larger this time. And if I can't, I will still learn something and I will try new things and I'll keep going until I can make it something. Step four, cut all the distractions out of your life and pursue your goal. This is kind of the aftermath of finding your purpose. But now that you have your purpose, now that you know what kind of lifestyle you want to live, now that you know what you have to do to achieve your goal, whether it be business, whether it be training every single day to become a professional basketball player, professional fighter, you now know what you want to do, what you have to do, and you have to go for it. Put all your effort into it, cut out all the distractions, and act as if it's your full-time job. You have to implement things into your life. I just recently went on a social media detox and I share my experience with that in this video right here. Definitely go check it out. I think it's a very, very beneficial video. And I've had people come to me in real life and tell me that I gave them good advice and these are things that they're going to implement in their life. But I implemented the social media detox in order to gain more focus, gain a better attention span so I could develop my business. And it's helped me a lot. I'm back now on social media for business purposes, but I don't find myself getting distracted. I'm literally spending my entire days working on my business to grow it and to develop income that can lead me to my purpose in life. Now, one thing to remember is your purpose might change. At first, as I was a kid, I wanted to become a professional soccer player. I love playing soccer. I love watching the sport. Over time, it became becoming a professional Twitch streamer, a gamer. And then it went to becoming a computer science major, 
a cybersecurity professional, which is my job currently. But I realized that this isn't what I want to do for the rest of my life. Now I've finally come to the conclusion that I believe is going to be my main purpose for the rest of my life. And that is become the best that I can be to develop multiple businesses, to develop multiple income streams that will support me, my current family, and my future family. And that I'll live a life where I can spend time with them. To be able to live a stress-free life where I don't have to worry about paying the bills, where I don't have to worry about waking up every single day to be at an office because someone told me to be there because I have to make money. I want to be able to travel the world, learn new things about many cultures. I want to be fit. I want to be the best person that I can be and be able to spread that knowledge to every one of you guys to make you guys also find your purpose and to live the life that you guys truly want. That being said, hopefully I inspired at least one of you guys to find your true purpose. And it does take time. This isn't something that will be done overnight. It took me about six months to a year to find the purpose that I have right now. Don't forget to sign up for my free self-development call. Top link in the description. With these calls, you guys have a chance to speak to me and I can help you guys fix problems that are tailored to your needs. Just remember to be as descriptive as possible with the topic of discussion so I can be best prepared to help you guys. Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below if I have impacted any one of you guys today, helped you find your purpose, or have at least set you on the right path to find your purpose. And remember to always be better today than you were yesterday. Peace out.